Okay, I just want to start by saying, honestly, this is a complete waste of time, and it's really only for people who just want to brag about that they did it, like me. In other words, this is a solution to a problem that doesn't exist. Take that into consideration before you start this process. There is nothing wrong with factory X570 thermals. Okay, first up, you want to get your motherboard and take these two screws off here in the front. You might also be able to make things easier for yourself by having a magnetic pole or a magnetic screwdriver so you can get those uh, tiny screws out. And remember that these screws actually have a longer thread length than the others. If my motherboard looks different than yours, that's because I had to take this part off to get it to clear. On the back of the board, you have one, two, three screws, and then these two screws hold the IO shield, which I would still recommend taking off. And so go ahead and take out all those five. Remove the back plate. By the way, the back plate has some thermal pads on it, so uh, just remember that. Make sure to put them in the proper position when you put the back plate back on. Okay, now I already have the heat killer chipset block installed, but yours should have four screws right there. You need to take those out. Okay, so just a warning for people who have these universal chipset blocks. When you install this, you're gonna have to manipulate it both rotation-wise and diagonal-wise because we have two mounting points and not four. So it cannot be centered on the rotational axis, unfortunately. If you have this kind of chipset block, you wanna have the slant facing towards your GPU. So you have that full clearance for your GPU block. Test fit this with a thermal pad, just so you don't scratch the surface of the chipset or whatever, and get it to where you want it to be, and get a Sharpie, draw a line from the top of the chipset block to the mounting bracket, and then bolt it together right where the Sharpie lines up. That way, you'll have at least the rotation part secured. So when you mount it on the liquid metal, all you have to do is just find out where it wants to be diagonally. On the other side, you're gonna wanna tug at the original chipset block. There's gonna be a little cable underneath. Uh, you could probably just loosen that up with a small flathead screwdriver or just try to pull it out, it's up to you. All right, now you uh, pulled the thing off. Just get your fingernail or whatever, and just lift up and pull that thermal pad off. Rubbing alcohol, spray it on there and clean that thing off. Get your liquid electrical tape. You absolutely want to use this when you're doing any kind of liquid metal insulation. Uh, this is the only thing I recommend. It's $6.98 per canister at Home Depot or Amazon or anywhere else. You can totally redo it over and over and over again. Uh, what I recommend when you do it is um, just get a ball going of it. That way, if you mess up on your application, all you have to do is uh, stick the ball on there and start rolling the ball, and it will it'll pull that it'll pull all that stuff off there. It'll, it'll, it will leave no trace of itself. All right, now you should only need about this much liquid metal. Um, you do not need a lot. If it starts to form like a pasty, silvery coating on the die, then just keep pressing with your applicator until the surface starts to look chrome. If it doesn't start to look chrome and it just stays with that pasty consistency, um, just apply just the slightest bit more and it, it'll be enough, trust me. Once you're done applying the liquid metal to the dye, you wanna get your applicator and use the leftover liquid metal to apply a coating onto the cooling surface as well. This is my finished liquid metal job. Should be shiny chrome, just like you're seeing. Boom, now you have a liquid metal chipset. All right, hopefully you found that helpful. If not, feel free to leave a comment or a dislike, or just not do this at all, because there's no point to it. This is probably the computer equivalent of removing a spare tire from a Range Rover and expecting it to go faster. If you stuck with it, enjoy your chipset, brag about it to people.